Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial for the Flesh Eater Courts. Yes, from the army set we are painting some more Crypt Guard, but today we are painting them in the colours of Gristle Gore. Yes, a uh, lovely kind of dark bluey horribleness that they have on the Gristle Gore boys. And um, yeah, we're going to be painting them up today. Uh, massive thank you to Games Workshop for sending me that Flesh Eater Quartz army set. So far we've had a lot of videos coming out for it. And I really, really love these Flesh Eater Quartz now. And well, these are going to somehow find their way into the army. And they're going to look fantastic. So we're going to jump in and we're going to start painting them. They've been primed in white scar. Just like all of our Flesh Eater Quartz. And the colour we're going to be using first is Night Haunt Gloom. And we're going to be applying this all over the top of their skin. So we're just going to start here on the leg and we're going to apply this night haunt gloom all over. Just like this. Just going to try and avoid that little bit of bone. Make things a little bit easier for myself later on. Just like this. I'm going to be painting all three of the ones I showed at the beginning. And if anything unique comes up, we'll paint it in. But otherwise, I'm pretty certain they're all the same. So with that all done, it might seem a little bit early in the process, but what we are going to do is take some Nuln Oil. I'm going to use this to shade all the skin. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Black Legion and we're going to apply this over the top of all of the hair. Just like this. And what we'll also do is we'll apply this over the top of any claws and fingernails. And we're also going to apply this over the top of the wood on their halberds. So with all that Black Legion applied, we're then going to take some wild wood and we're going to apply this over the top of all of the remaining leather, excluding the wraps on the halberd. We're going to do that in a slightly different colour just to create a little bit of variation on the model. We 
with that wildwood all applied, we're then going to take some skeleton hoard. We're going to apply this over the top of any bones and skulls you might have. Including a hunk of meat that this individual bought. A little bit of a bone there. And a little bit of a bone there. And so with that done, we're then going to take some rattling grime. We're going to apply this over the top of those wraps on the halberds. There's a couple of little cable ties and bits of string as well on the bones. And we're also going to apply this over. And so with that now done, we're going to take some thinned down Iron Warriors. We're going to apply this over top of all of the remaining details. Forgive me, but there is one last base coat to do, which is to take some Gilliman flesh and apply this to the skin on the meat. Just like that. So with that all done, it's now time to add a shade. And that shade is going to be some Agrax Earth shade. We're going to apply this over the top of all of the silver. And so with that done, we're almost at full war hipster battle ready, but what we need to do is we need to take a little bit of wild wood. We need to apply this over the top of the eyes and the teeth. There is that little trail of spittle on this one we haven't done yet, but that's okay. We're gonna do that later. So with that all done, our Gristle Gore Crypt Guard are now what I would call a War Hipster Battle Ready and they look pretty cool. However, we are of course not gonna leave it there. We're gonna take them to the next level. We're gonna do this by adding some layers and some highlights. Now, first of these is going to be a layer. It's going to be some thinned down Fenrisian Grey. And what we're going to do here is we're going to use this over the top of all. Sorry, didn't have a, enough on my brush there. And we're going to use this over the top of all of the flesh. So in places, this kind of becomes a highlight, 
but in the more wide open areas, it's a bit more of a relayer. that over the shoulder. So with all that Fenrisy and grey applied, we then take some thinned down deep kin flesh. And we use this to add some little spot highlights to all the skin. So we're looking to just pick out the sharpest details, many of which are around the face. This is a real focal point on any miniature. We do have areas such as any little boils, a corner on the shoulder. The elbows, the knees. The knuckles. With that deepkin flesh applied, we then take a really tiny little bit of white scar and apply this over top of their eyeballs. Like so. So that done, we're now going to move on. I'm going to move on to the fur, where we're going to take some administratum grey here. I'm going to add a couple of little flecks. Just quite a sparing little edge highlight. So with that all done, I'm then going to take a tiny little bit of Screaming Skull and use this to pick out the teeth. And we can use this to add a little bit of a highlight to some of the bones. So, with that all done, what we're now going to do is move on to the next colour, which is going to be some thinned down iron breaker. I'm going to use this to highlight all the silver. So with that all done, we're now going to do a little bit of freehand because Gristle Gore have got some grizzly markings 
all over them. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Evil Suns Scarlet. We're going to use this to add some kind of harsh, rough markings over their skin. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add a little kind of blobby line coming down here. I'm going to bring it back a little bit further than that. Like that. I'm going to add another one. Coming down like that. And then I'm going to add another one. Pretty close to it. Just there. Like that. Now it might look a little bit harsh against the skin right now, but Evil Sun Scarlet does tend to dry a little bit darker than when it initially goes on. Anyway, once we've done that, we can add a few more. So just around here, for example, I'm going to add a line going like this. And then I'm going to draw a little bit of a kind of wonky arrow like that. And draw a chevron sort of thing on his shoulder. And then I'm going to draw kind of a sort of square type thing just there on his chest and then we're going to do a marking kind of here a little line we'll do another one there like that and we can add kind of a little bit of wobbliness to them if they feel a little bit too clean. You just kind of want to really get them on there. Like that sort of thing. With those markings all applied, our gristle gore boys are well pretty much finished. There's only one thing we have to do, which is to take some Blood Angels Red. No, blood for the blood god. Goodness me! Uh, and we're going to apply this over the top of this kind of spittle, just here. Dripping down his chinny chin chin. We'll also add a little bit more of it around his face. And the reason why we've gone for blood there is because he bought a snack. We're going to add the blood like this to the bone. and to the other end. Very exciting. And thus, Gristle Gore is finished. So with their bases complete, our Gristle Gore Crypt Guard are now finished. I really like the Halberds, I think they're fantastic. And painting this one was a lot of fun. It's such a very, very unique blue to their skin. And I really enjoyed painting those markings in. I think they look fantastic. Really, really cool scheme, this one. And, well, I kind of want to do Gristle Gore now. But I'm sticking with Morgaunt. Because I think Morgaunt just is so effective when there's loads of the ghouls. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so. By heading to patreon.com forward slash warhipster. Just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button below, exactly like these fabulous folks have done scrolling up on the screen before you. There are so many of you out there that it really takes my breath away, and I cannot thank you enough for everything you do, as without you, I wouldn't be able to keep making these Contrast Plus videos. And if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks, just click on the thanks button just below this video. 
don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.